Oh. You found me. Now it's your turn to hide. Tell us about your marble suit. <laughs> yeah, see. Tell us how you think they're actually little planets. You think they're planets? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're girls. I want to take them out of the jar now, but why? Will all the little aliens spill out? <laughs> He's such a weirdo. I don't like taking them out at school. No. You don't want to take them out because they're just plain old marble. They're not just marble. So she admits it. She thinks her marbles are planet. She's crazy. <laughs> Leave me alone. Come on, Sue. Let us see your planet. Get away from me. Dreams, I think. Get your scary stray dog away from us. Oh, Poochie. Thank you. People don't always like you when you're different. Maybe that's just how it is. Like how cats and dogs don't feel like. Is that Poochie? You're staying out with cats? They want to start a dog and cat bakery? Wow, that's really cool. I needed a place like that. But today I want to show you why I live. Sorry, girl. But you can't park around here. Get in trouble. Thanks for understanding. Oh. My home. I really wish I could show you my room, but Dad's on my He gets pretty angry if he's napping and someone wakes him up. He came up late last night because he was out playing these grown up games. You know, the kind of game where you drink grown up drinks and lose a lot of money. Lots of cool things I can show you in the yard. Take over, see over here? Earlier this year, some morning ducks made a nest in the bushes. See how little the ground it was? I came and checked on them every morning before school. And one day, the babies flew away. Oh! Hmm, where did I put it? Here it is. You know how much this rock looks like a duck? What the hell is this? Calm down, dear. I need you to wash your clothes. I... I told you not to move my things. That's alright. Come on, Pucci. We gotta go. Follow me. Poochie, in here. That was close. Keep an eye here until things calm down. Wanna look at my marble collection? I don't have the whole jar with me, but I have a few new ones in my pocket. I have to hide, I like to use a marble and make a new world. Can you make a new world with me, Poochie? Let's see. How about this one? I found this marble at the big blue lonely tree. It's the color of amber. It made me think the tree was giving me a present. 
I think this island has a really big tree. The tree is so big that everyone lives there together. Inside the tree, there's a room where flower creatures serve you the most delicious tea ever. And the tea room is upside down. You can walk on the ceiling. Your tea won't even fall out of the cup. Of course, you can sit at the table with me and share my food. You want to make up another world? Okay. What would yours be? A cat and dog bakery planet? That's a great idea! He left. He just took all his things and now he's gone. He didn't even say goodbye. Gucci. Do you think he was a bad person? Do you think he left because he didn't care? You're afraid? Do you not want us anymore? Gucci. I made you something. It's your very own collar. I used pink ribbon and a bell I got from school. That way everyone will know that you have someone who loves you and wants to take care of you. I'll always be there for you. I promise. Oh, don't think this collar is gonna. I don't think this that collar is gonna be long enough. That's okay. I have more ribbon at home, so I can fix it later. Okay, Poochie, I gotta go early today. Gotta help Mom with some stuff. But I'll see you tomorrow. Poochie, you? you're my best friend. Of the day she went. We can't go yet, Mom. You have to talk to my friend. I know moving is a scary thing, but trust me, Sue. You'll make new friends. I don't want to make new friends. This is my best friend. And she needs me. I can't just leave her. I don't understand why we have to move anyway. Can't I just go to the doctor here? You're going to send I to stay with your uncle and aunt, because it's close to the kind of medical care you need. Sue, I know it's difficult for you, but your father is not here yet. Practically speaking, it's just too expensive for us to live here. Can I bring my friend with me? The last time, no. Now please, Sue, get in the car. I'm so sorry. Mom, where are we? I'm not sure, sweetie. It feels cold and really empty. Oh dear. Probably best if we keep walking. Oh, no. 
What are you doing here? I had a life. I had a vice. Maybe I didn't know what I had at the time. And I ran away from my problems in the most cowardly way a man can. They needed me. Sue me. So now I spend my days pondering these worlds. Hopes I can find something. Anything. Make this pain go away. Take care of him. Play. Here, you jump. He's strong, isn't she? Maybe you can't change the past, but you can still do something for her, you know? What's that? Let her know that you love her, that you always did. Even when it didn't seem that way. I think the time has come for me to cross these ways. It's been a real pleasure. Goodbye. Gucci! Oh, Gucci, I'm so sorry for leaving you. I remember now. You waited for me by the tree near our old home. I wanted to meet you there. I wanted to so bad. Thank you for understanding, girl. I'll never leave you again. I promise. You guys are still here? Hi, Danielle. Since you're still here, you should come join us for Star Night tonight. Thank you. What's Star Night again? Only the biggest celebration of the whole year. It's basically the best. Trust me. Okay. And it's time for Star Night. Talk to the chief, and he'll walk over with you. See you soon.
I'm gonna win all the games. Don't believe me? Watch. Sincerely, the blacksmith. So you said that, um, well, she said that he's a pushover to the grandkids and that they shouldn't be eating so much honey, and he goes, I have no idea what you're talking about. Did Dirk say anything special now? Star Knights starting really soon. The Chief wants everyone who is involved with the setting up of the grounds to head over to get Why don't you go talk to him? I'd let you through because you're all good in my book, but I don't want to get in trouble. You know how it is. Yeah, I understand. Welcome to Star Night! Is it your first time here? What am I saying? Of course it's your first time here! Well, come on in. Make yourselves at home. Oh, here's a little gift. We call it Libo Ramene. It's a delicious, bubbly drink in a fun glass bottle. glass marble inside the top of the bottle oh how neat when i was a little girl we used to drink ramen a neighborhood boy once told me there was a way to get the marble out of the bottle without breaking it and i'm pretty sure you just made that up mom i think i should give this marble to sue you think she'd still want it for a collection, even though it's inside a bottle? 
That's very kind of you, Kate. And yes, I'm sure she would very much appreciate it. Okay, then. Let's go to Star Night. Wait, you're back over here now. You're not thinking. You three was over here somewhere else. I have to go to Star Night. I love checking out all the different treats they have during Star Night. You have a favorite? I'll tell you a fortune based on which one you choose. Uh, I don't really care for them. Taco Yaki are delicious. The only problem is that I get too excited and bite down before it's cooled down. If you taco yaki fast like me, it means you need to work on your patience. But if you wait for it to cool, it means that you are good at savoring life. Watermelon is my favorite fruit. When I was little, my mom said I kind of looked like a watermelon. Is that good? If you like watermelon, it means that you're easy going and laid back. Hmm. Well, actually, the, the reason you're eating is probably because you're not really angry and you need to cool off. And the opposite is true. Dogs are so chewy. I think if you like them, it means you persevere. You have to chew a lot to finish. When I hear this music, I can't help but way back in time. Hey, nice with fun flavors. Get them before they melt. Uh, yes. I love cheese, guys. Let's fire hand it. Your soup green. Your sweet. If you can catch a gold fish, you can keep it as a pet. I like the play. Okay, here's your paper net. Good luck. Sorry, you didn't catch it. Better luck next time. Luck waste, or do you just not catch them? Tried the midnight tea before? Very special kind of tea that makes you dream the sweetest dreams you've ever had. You guys are here! I miss you a lot! River misses you too! Even though he doesn't want to admit it. <laughs> what do you want? Tea bowls. He is delicious. Nothing goes with bean cake like nice hot cupcakes. You do not like matcha. Hi guys. Thanks so much for helping me with the lanterns earlier. This place looks great. Painting portraits for folks and face paint for the kids. Hmm. I really like the Sealaberry donuts over at Painty. They're delicious. I can't get a painting. I want a painting. Dance. Happy Star Night, you guys. I tried to coordinate the music for the festival, but I wasn't able to bring my sweet dog spirit with me. Makes me sad, but I'll see her soon. Anyway, here's a little something you or something to help you remember them. Aoboshi Hatsu. So, 
Boost or something. Uh oh, not That's right, whatever. The background don't exist. Every time of year. Every time of year. Kind of like Tanabata Festival. Little buds in the app. Let's get this party started. Oh, yes! No Holds Bar plays festivals too! Got any requests? Do Loot Solo! I wonder if all these graphics are made for this. You made it! I'm so happy to see you here. There are many different teas to share with folks. But the most specialty of all is, as you know, a midnight tea. What's it like? Well, it tastes sweet, but there's no sugar. It will make you feel cozy and warm, as if you were at home. The real reason it's so special is that after drinking it, you'll have the sweetest dreams you've ever had. Care to try some? Well, I must warn you, once you drink it, you'll surely fall asleep. I need some takoyaki. They're piping hot, chewy, and delicious. And, uh, he couldn't make it tonight. He's playing some dumb card game with one of his bear friends. Super dragon made wizard warrior wizards or something. Yeah. Got something even better, actually. Her name is Pete. You're in luck. My plushies are selling like hotcakes, but... My hotcakes were selling like plushies! Hey! Hey, Pete. As I was saying, I'm nearly sold out, but I have one very special plushie left. Here's the low price of 10 feet. Uh, absolutely. Ah, uh, Tim. Hey, guys. Glad you can make it. You're becoming such a big part of the build. It'd be weird not to see you here. First time in ages. I'm taking a break, of course. Actually, I'll tell you guys that I'm really doing it. I'm secretly studying the science behind festival games. Science behind game? Just say, the chief decides to bring out beanbag toss in the game. So let's just say the chief decides to bring out a beanbag toss. Check this out. If you flatten the beanbag before you toss it, you have a greater chance of knocking more things. It's nothing more than maximizing surface area. I got this in the bag. The beanbag! I would say the bread, except Panky's not baking it correctly. He isn't using the right ratio of flour to leaven the age, so its optimal bread height has not been achieved. But bread height aside, the bread is very good. Too good. Oh, so that bear thinks he can beat me at eating pancakes? Well, ask him this. Did he ever eat so many pancakes that he had to that they had to carry him away in a stretcher? 